I just had to share this really quick because I remembered something. And there are times when I'm out in public and my son might have an episode where he just, it looks like he's flipping out and having a full on tantrum, whether he's kicking and screaming, uncontrollably crying and just nothing can console him. There's no like disciplining him that's working. And I get these looks, right? Or we're at the playground and then all of a sudden he just bolts off and he thinks it's hilarious. And then he throws himself on the ground. So I get all these looks. And at first I used to be so concerned about these people. And oh my gosh, they're gonna think like I'm a horrible mother or that my child is horrible or you know, like what, you know, you need to do something or that, or is afraid that someone's gonna chime in and tell me, you know, how I should be dealing with my son. Um, and I do, I still get looks, you know, whether or not my kid, you know, Octavian starts to throw himself on the ground or he hits his head, you know, on the floor or, you know, we try to talk with him or, and he's just not, you're just not at that point where you can talk him down to, to being calm. Where I want to then just tell people like, what the F are you looking at? Like, mind your own business. Like, not every child is going to have a good day. Some days are bad days. And other times I want to I wanna then say, like, I feel like I have to say, well, he has autism to like justify why he's acting the certain way or why I am acting or, react or not reacting to certain situations. And I feel like, you know, that's what's maybe a little bit wrong with our society is that if our kids are not this perfect little angel and following exactly how like it always should be, then it's again, we look badly on the parents or we immediately like, oh, that's a bad child or, oh, you know, he's going to be tough to deal with, you know. And that's not what we should be doing. We shouldn't be labeling. And I fall into that too with my youngest where he gives me a hard time. And I will label like, oh man, he's gonna be a troublemaker. And I need to stop that. Because eventually he's gonna know and he's gonna hear me keep calling himself a troublemaker. And then what's gonna happen? He's gonna become a troublemaker because that's what I've always said that he is. So he's gonna believe his mother. So if you're gonna keep saying that, oh, he's shy or he's a troublemaker, or, you know, he's a bully, then guess what? Your kids hear you enough or they're going to hear from somebody else talking about them and they're going to believe it because they're going to find out who said it. My mom said it or my dad said it. So I need to work on it. And I really hope that you all now can um, maybe think about how you label your kids or how you refer to your kids and refrain from that because everybody has good days and bad days and honestly if you were to judge me on my bad day that's not a true um explanation or a true definition of who i really am if that's all you're going to see is my bad day and then i'm stuck with that for the rest of my life and then what happens every time i see you i'm like well they already think i'm a bitch so i'm just gonna keep on going doing that right when really i'm not <laughs> So enough of my little soapbox. I want you guys to just think about um, how we label people. And would you want to be labeled that way?